Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Um, I'm going to do a reading, but that's going to be in a separate video. I just want to make a quick, short little video and talk to you a little bit about um, I, uh, this engagement through YouTube and inserting ourselves into the conversation with the, quote, establishment environmentalists, right? We've been sort of leaning on them and I think it's really important and in this regard I'm going to suggest that the people that watch my YouTube channel also look for the Age of Fission radio show on YouTube. It's at Monday through Friday it'll publish, it'll populate if you subscribe to that or you can just look it up um, and if anybody of you out there want to like uh, I don't know, partner with me and do some technical work and spread this around. That would be awesome. It's Creative Commons, so you can. Um, but the last, we're actually beginning to get some good, good interviews. I make a conscientious effort to interview activists and people that are figuring out how to help us do things uh, because that's what we need. We need everybody engaged. And so I did a really great interview today with Mimi German. Last Friday, there was Mimi German and Heidi Lambert. They both were talking about Hanford in ways that you're not going to hear from anywhere else. Um, I've also interviewed, uh, actually my interview with Crow and with Sean from the SGT report was really good. I'm not sure that Sean's going to come back because I don't subscribe to the idea that Donald Trump is a victim of the deep state. I think that Donald Trump is the deep state. And I think that under pressure things went awry and so it hasn't quite worked out the way they wanted but they're getting the things done that they want their agenda of just the wrecking ball crew uh the alan greenspan uh neoliberal idea of privatizing everything gutting uh, all the safety nets for the government just deregulate privatize and let business take care of everything but they forgot the caveat part is bringing the military that's why on the president's page immediately at the White House, it's all about the cops, all about the military and gutting American institutions. This is the neoliberal idea. It's classic. It's Alan Greenspan invented this idea of philosophy. This is when they bought into the whole Anne Rand, who, by the way, was a novelist. Anne Rand wrote some, a novel called Atlas Shrugged. And it's about if you're the most selfish person in the world, you can be the world is going to do well because everybody looks after their own best interest. And it's a fucked up idea. The reality is it doesn't work that way. Uh, there are some people that really need to be checked. <laughs> some people have mental problems. And we're seeing that right now with the president who has been set up, I think, by the people around him because he just pissed him off. Or I, I don't really quite understand how he got... What he, I think that he this has been a long-term plan. And I think that they have been going after this for a long time. And I think we're being played. And there have been some glitches along the way because of technology, because of the way WikiLeaks came around. That's why they're so super pissed off about WikiLeaks. I don't know about Seth Rich. His parents said he was not the leaker. Uh, I have no idea, but that would make sense because I always thought that Hillary Clinton killed Seth Rich because he was a writing a report. He did write a report about the uh, election for the United Nations, and we've never seen it, never heard of it, but that was what his last task was, write a report for the United Nations on uh, the election fraud that happened that the Democrats perpetrated. And my theory on that is the Democrats contacted the Russians. And so when the Russians were like, yeah, we'll help you steal it from Bernie. And then as soon as that shit was over, boom, they turned around and started working. As soon as they got their hands in, they started working in backwards. And this is why the, this whole thing has been all fucked it up, because they haven't figured out how to, like, go after Trump without outing themselves. This is why it's all undercover, hush, hush, we can't talk. And it's also because they didn't want to out to the Russians that they have been spying on them. So the whole thing is just like, uh, we have a polluted government and we have a polluted environment. And it's up to us to figure it out. 
So on my radio show, I interview activists. I interview people with ideas. Uh, I like my conversation with Crow because he suggested he thought the idea of being a slacktivist was a really great idea. He, he uh, Listen to the show I did yesterday. That's the 18th with Crow. He's a shamanic practitioner. And um, he said he has a... a Every day he gets dictionary.com and the word was slacktivist. And he was thinking about coming on the show and he was thinking how even that matters. Because from slacktivist to activist, as you do engage, whatever action, whatever level you're at, man, we need that. We need everyone to get actively engaged. The shit is hitting the fan, folks. The animals are dying. Our kids are getting cancer. They're fucking around like it's business as usual. It's not. It's not. I just wanted to let you know that I'm back. I actually signed up for democracy school on June 2nd and 3rd, even though it's right before finals. Bit annoying, but that's when they're doing it. It's by, uh, let me see if I can pull up the website. I think it won't mess up this. It's on the Community Environmental Legal Defense Fund. It's not the Environmental Defense Fund, the one that's the horrible people, but this is my Professor Kaufman. Uh, I interviewed him for the radio show today. It was a fabulous interview. He suggested this, and I went here, and I'm like, wow, they're doing one in Virginia and one in Eugene, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do that. So I did. I signed up because <laughs> we need to learn how to build coalitions. I want us to become the policy entrepreneurs. I want us, we out here who are standing up for ethics and are outraged that we have been lied and manipulated and everybody in the whole system does not tell the truth. If you want to be part of the system, you have to go, oh, okay. Yes, I see that, but oh, yeah, 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 there it is. Oh, no, I don't see it. No, I do. We do see it. And it, it, we have to come to grips with what our reality is before we can move forward on a rational level. So, hmm. put your courage feet on. Thank you guys for being there. Thank you, Thomas Ackerman and Chris and the other people that spoke to me and gave me and Glenn Woodford, you guys, I, I honestly, my YouTube community, the people that watch my channel and TJ, you guys, it does lift my spirits to hear that people are out there, you know, like helping support each other. And, um, we are going through interesting times. And so, uh, I, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Let me just put it to you that way. I'm super grateful for that. <laughs> so, uh, put your courage feet on you guys and take some action. Democracy School, if you're anywhere near Virginia, I'll leave a link in this video thing here and talk to you soon, guys. Bye. <laughs> Did I say put your courage feet on? Well, let's put the courage feet on. Put the courage feet on and start walking. You thought I was just going to say goodbye. You know I never do that. <laughs> Bye.